بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد some of the characteristics of the believer that a, a believer should strive to gain and possess. Are things like pardoning one another, you know, having forgiveness. And humbleness and humility before Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. The one who created us, the only one worthy of worship. And in a hadith on Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal مَا نَقَسَتْ صَدَقَةٌ مِنْ مَالٍ وَمَا زَادُ اللَّهُ عَبْدٍ بِأَفْوٍ إِلَّا عِزَّةٍ وَمَا تَوَاضَعَ أَحَدٌ لِلَّهِ إِلَّا رَفَعَهُ أو رَفَعَهُ اللَّهُ رَوَاهُ مُسْلِمٌ In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Abi Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Charity does not reduce one's wealth. And Allah will not cease a servant to be blessed with that, that pardons or that, that is a pardoning servant with pardon, except that this individual receives honor and whoever humbles themselves before Allah Allah raises him in the sight of his self you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise him in honor and stature and this is in Muslim letting us know Humility, having taqwa before Allah, our Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one worthy of worship. Having humility before Him, tawada, tawada. And pardoning one another are ways to, that Allah will raise you. So a lot of people look at that as a as something to get to give forgiveness and pardoning people as something that will make them weaker but in fact the Quran and the Sunnah show us that that gives us strength and that gives us honor and status and that's with our Lord and Allah will raise you even without you striving to have status that the more you become humble before Allah he will raise you in honor Unlike those who have to strive in this dunya for honor by doing all kind of things. They play sports or they have wealth, they have fame, they have all these things. And they strive to gain that honor. But in fact, it's false. True honor is if Allah raises you for your obedience to Him. From your obedience to Him. That you are humble before your Lord. Tawada. And that you exercise his commands and avoid his prohibitions. Humbling yourself before him, subhanah, making dua with humility, sacrifice for Allah. And pardoning your brothers and sisters, fellow Muslims, pardoning them.
excusing people. You know, maybe they have debt with you and you excuse them. Maybe they have wronged you and you excuse them. Whatever the situation is, ha having those honorable characteristics raise you in honor. And that's what we want to strive to have as believers, is to be raised in honor by Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're giving da'wah for his sake, he'll raise you. He will raise you. It's not necessary for you to advertise and do this and, and want to be in the public eye and this and that and the other. Matter of fact, those kind of characteristics can at times destroy you. But if you keep sincerity to Allah, you do it for his sake, Allah will raise you because he loves those who are supporting his religion, who are helping, who do it for his sake, ibadah, who strive to do right. And look at this, the example of the, first and foremost, the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. He didn't want to speak and, you know, he, he had... He had a fear of, uh, of his, his impediment, speaking impediment. He didn't want to speak. They didn't want to be out in the forefront like that. The, the prophets, alayhim after salatu salam, they all had humility and taqwa law. And they were the best of mankind. And they strove the utmost striving. And Allah raised every one of them to be the best. So if we want to follow their example and we want to be raised in this life, be raised with Allah. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with those characteristics that He is pleased with and will cause you to be raised up in this life as well as the hereafter. And we ask our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala Forgive us of our sins and bless us with those things which please Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.